was a very good practitioner. He was practicing, practicing in a small clinic. And every day he used to feel that his space was not sufficient enough. So he wanted to expand his clinic so that he could, he could benefit many more patients. So in the same town, in the outskirts, there was one nursing home, which was about 80-100 bedded hospital. It was running in losses. There were lots of problems in the hospital. Every day there used to be galakas. One or other problem used to be there. And the donor was desperately, uh, you know, wanting to sell it. But somehow, there were no buyers at all. So this <coughs> Dr. Sundar Murthy came to know that this hospital is for sale. And the bargain was also very attractive. Nearly half the price of its worth, he was getting it. So he asked his friends and relatives about this proposition. They were very skeptical because the hospital had so many problems. So they said, probably it has got some worst problems. You have got right now very good practice. Why do you want to take such a huge risk? Better not to. But still, somehow he went ahead and purchased it. Well, you know, we, that, that hospital had everything for a very good hospital, like a lab it was there, CT scan was there, even though it was little outskirts. Then, while renovating, he was advised by his friends, relatives, to consult some hospital expert. And of course, he, though he was not believing all these things in the past, now that the special occasion has come, so he went to one hospital expert, very far off from that area, maybe about 150 kilometers. So he went there, he consulted a Vastu Pandit, he asked him to accompany, accompany him. So he brought him in his, in his own car and he started driving. Along the way, the Pandit Chi observed him that he was driving all along slowly. And uh, whichever vehicles uh, which were, you know, running behind him, whenever they horned, he was giving way to all the vehicles. Then Panditji felt surprised and he asked, Are Dr. Saab, why you are giving way to all the vehicles? Why you are not going fast? Then he told, maybe they have got uh, very urgent work, that's why they are horning. And moreover, uh, we do not have any urgent work. So slowly, no issues. Anyway, I am dropping you back. So by the evening, anyway, I will bring you back here. Okay. Nothing to worry. Okay, okay. He told. Along the way, they had to go through a village. Small village and the road became very narrow. Suddenly, a small kid, maybe about three to four years old, ran across that road. Ran across that road. Because this fellow was driving slow, it was not difficult to, you know, control. So he slowed down, the boy ran. And then, even after that boy ran away, this doctor was still looking at that side direction and still running slowly only. This pundit was perplexed. Then suddenly, within a few seconds, one more kid, one more kid came from that side and crossed the road. He was very uh, surprised, the Panditji. Are you Dr. Saab? How did you know that one more kid is coming now? How, how, how did you know that another kid is going to come? I did not uh, anticipate that. Then he told, Dr. told, Daini Panditji, because the way the first kid was running with, with a very triumphant smile on his face and a glee with hands raised like this, I realized that that boy must have over crossed another boy and he must be running and obviously there must be another boy running behind him. So I just guessed that there can, there can be another boy. Oh, your time since is super, he told. And they continued their journey. The time when they came to their, you know, the campus or the, you know, near the gate of the hospital and, and when I did not kill, I forgot, there were two mango trees. By the side of that hospital, there were two mango trees which were, which was, which were fetching very good mangoes. His doctor's wife liked them. And that was also one of the main reasons for the doctor to 
purchased that hospital. So the moment they came near the gate, the doctor saw that one dog was barking, looking at the tree. Then the doctor asked Panditji, Panditji, let us collate Kerun, bring down Kerun. We will, we will walk slowly from here on. He was surprised. Why you are like asking like this? No, no, because there are two trees which put their full of mangoes now. Usually the boys, there will be surrounding boys. They will be playing here. Today they are not playing. And moreover, that dog it is barking, looking at the trees. I am sure those boys will be like, will be on the you know, roof in the treetop. Probably plucking the mangoes. If you go suddenly and bark our vehicle by the side, they will be, you know, very much fenced. They may climb down very fast or they may even fall. So let us give them a chance. Then, surprisingly, as the doctor expected, three, four boys came down and they ran away within no time. <coughs> then, the Pandichi, who was almost near to the building, said, no bus, I will not help hospital. So telling that, he started going back towards the car. Now the turn, it's the turn of a doctor to get some shot. What is this Panditji? I have brought you all the way 150 kilometers and now you are very near to the building and you are telling no, no, I'll save us. Then he told, dear Dr. Ji, wherever there are people like you, who always think of others' interest first, who always beat their heart for others' sake also, there is no necessity for us to. So I don't need to tell you anything. Wherever you practice, you will click. You don't need any practice. <laughs> Saying that, he went off. So friends, what I tell you through this incident is that the vastu or the luck does not depend on the tiles or bricks. It all depends on our helping attitude, selfless attitude, and how we feel, how what we do for our patients, ृत्पूर्वक टीचिंग हास्पिटल बहिद नम संस्था वैद्यक अधीक्षक डॉक्टर कृष्णमूर्ति बिहार नम नि परवा हृत्पूर्वक वीडियो सब्सक्रैबी बटन मेले क्ली